Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Hi, ladies. Thank you, and welcome to the Valder Beebe Show. How are you? Very good, thank Very you. Very good, thanks. Well, I have gotten uh, Barbara Van Dalen Correct. into the city studio and Samantha Dutton, and they're here to help us to up our IQ. <laughs> I'm going to start with you, Barbara. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Good to be here. Tell me your role in today's conversation. So I'm the president and founder of Given Hour. Given Hour is a national nonprofit organization that provides free mental health care to, initially we began by providing free care to those who serve their families and their communities. We continue to do that and we've also expanded the model and we now provide free mental health care to a number of other populations in need. And we are really pushing this issue of it's time to change the culture of mental health in general to ensure that those in need receive the care and support they, ser they deserve. And we partner with a number of organizations, including the University of Phoenix. And the University of Phoenix, uh, let's go there. Tell me about the University of Phoenix, Samantha. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm Dr. Samantha Dutton, and I'm a program dean at the University of Phoenix in the College of Science and Humanities. I'm also a retired lieutenant colonel from the Air Force, so the veterans and mental health are near and dear to my heart. Um, so we're partnering with GiveAnHour.org and also talking about the survey uh, showing the disparities between the veteran population and our active duty population and what that survey shows and the hope that that, and the hope that, that survey also shows. Barbara, let me ask you, you say you give free mental health uh, assistance to people. Are there facilities where people can go for this particular thing? Because we seem like we've done away with all of that. Well, I think you're talking about the deinstitutionalization, and, and that's a, a very long conversation about what happened and why that happened, that, that institutions really that often weren't providing uh, care, but were more just housing people with severe mental illness ha closed you know, decades uh, ago. And that we, we are looking at how can we provide care to those in need in communities around the country and frankly around the world. Given our, the, our model, we actually harness mental health professionals who are all over the country providing mental health care in their own offices or through their own agencies. We're a virtual organization, so we don't provide the services. We actually harness mental health professionals, and they literally give an hour uh, a week. They sign up to give an hour a week free mental health care to the populations that we identify. So far, we've given 265,000 hours of free care. And as I said, we began this journey providing free care to those who serve their families and our veterans, and we continue to do that work. So we're trying to be innovative, and we also provide telehealth through these providers and phone support. The goal is to, to determine what this service member, this veteran, this military family might need and, and provide that for them. Dr. Dutton, I'm going to think, because it's for the military or veterans, that kind of thing, you have a lot who come to the University of Phoenix. Yes, we have a student population of veterans that come to the University of Phoenix and we're happy to have them there to push them along in their civilian journey. And when mental health issues arise, we have resources such as GiveAnHour.org to help those students out. I'm so glad you guys are talking about this and doing something because people just, we live in a society where people just pay lip service and nobody's doing anything. And this sounds like something that's incredible for people who actually need it. So I want to applaud both of you for what you're doing and both of your companies. Thank you. I want Thank to you. find out, my audience that's listening, I'm watching them on Facebook, and they're saying they do need help. Mm -hmm. Where, how, do they get, how do they get connected? Uh, let's start with you, uh, Barbara. Well, there's a number of, of things that I think are important. That this, As we've been talking with you, mental health is, is an issue, it's a topic for everyone. We have physical health, we have mental health. It's all part of the human condition. A few years ago, we launched the Campaign to Change Direction, which is an effort to teach everyone how to recognize five signs 
that tell us that either we ourselves or someone we love is in emotional pain and may need help. So if people go to changedirection.org, they can learn those five signs. They can join efforts in their community. We need to change the culture. The reality is there are not enough mental health professionals in our nation to meet the need. There won't be any time soon, but that doesn't mean that there aren't lots of things that we can do in our communities. And it starts with awareness, starts with education, starts with changing the conversation. And through partnerships like this, that's what we're doing, not only for our veteran and military community, but more broadly, because our veterans live in the broader society. We all need to be part of this solution. And Dr. Dutton, I'll let you wrap it up, the University of Phoenix and their contribution. Well, we did a survey to show the um, disparity between the you know, active duty and the veteran. And I think that that disparity just shows that, um, that it, the culture has changed the military so that the leadership is speaking openly about it. And I'll echo Barbara's conversation piece about having the conversation is so important. And to visit um, phoenix.edu slash mental health veterans to see the survey and also to uh, giveanhour.org so you can read more about um, uh, Barbara's organization. I'm so glad you guys came on to the Valder Beebe Show. I've been a believer for a long time, but I think the midterm elections is kind of supporting what I believe. Women have the strongest voice. <laughs> and with women like you talking about this, this will be something that someone will put on their agenda. So thank you so much for what you're doing, University of Phoenix, and you too, Barbara. I really appreciate it. Thank you so thank much you. for telling the story. Thank you. Thank you.